Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, guys, those books are mandatory. Also, those who donate to the Cash App, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also those who are shopping at the store, much love, keep it coming. Now, of course, guys, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And guys, we had a very, very nice left. I said on my Friday morning's video, make sure you get in. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. But guys, remember on the weekends, we're the only game in town. The fact is that Friday, of course, the stock market closed early. As soon as that stock market closed, we started to move up. Just like I stated, guys, on the weekends, we're the only game in town. So either we have a nice pump or we have a nice dump. But either way, we start to see volume pick up on the weekends. Now, basically getting back to last month, guys, we know what happened with the futures. We stayed steady. And then on the 5th, we took off. Remember, they need Bitcoin for collateral on the 5th. That's the reason why I always state the 5th. So right now, we are in a time period where basically right now we are getting a pump. But the fact is, is that come Monday when the stock market opens, I see the actual a little dip coming. Now, we know on Tuesday... They do what? They cut that check. But the fact is, guys, make sure you're looking at the indicators. Of course, that's volume. Right now, volume is steady. Volume has picked up, guys, but it's nowhere near what we were. Now, of course, you have your XRP and now XLM battling back and forth. Of course, right now, I think XRP is up like 7-8%. XLM is down like 7-8%. Uh, but guys, remember, XRP lets us know which direction that we're going. And then also stable coins let us know whether we're going to be going, how far we're going to go up or how far we're going to go down. Remember, when it's over that dollar for a long period of time, that means that we're going down. When it's at that 99.9 .9 or below, that means that the market is going up. So guys, do not forget the indicators. Volume, XRP, and stable coins, they will not fail you right now. Now, we saw Tether get over that 19 billion, I think it was 19.1 billion right now. So it's steady getting pumped almost every single day or every other day, guys. And then USDC is just stable going back and forth. So it's, it's like they're using USDC to really help pump the markets. Now, just like I stated, guys, we have Fed cutting that check on Tuesday, but we know what? They're going to be closing. I think it's like nine repos. So, guys, they're going to start shrinking this liquidity. Is this going to happen ASAP? No, it's not. That's the reason why we need that real use case to come in to keep us where we're at. Because right now, we're based on speculation. We're based on liquidity. And the fact is that we're running neck and neck with the S&P. It's only one day that we didn't go with the S&P. Now, we also see the Bitcoin dominance that broke down after that 31 days. Now, the catalyst that we need, guys, and of course, is Ethereum 2.0. Is it going to be able to scale? And that's our real use case because we know what could happen if Ethereum can scale. We know, I went over several times, they're trying to do the uh, LIBOR, the Ameribor, where they're going to put all these derivative swaps on that Ethereum blockchain. So, guys, it's definitely going to be amazing, but can it scale and how soon they're going to be able to do it. That's not something they're going to do overnight. So that's why I stated, basically, make sure we're looking at the indicators, because if not, we're definitely going to be taking a dip. Just like I stated, if they're going to... The only reason why we pump, guys, is due to liquidity. I just want to make sure you get that in your head. The fact is that if they're closing down repos, that's going to shrink liquidity. Now, just like I stated, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's definitely going to happen. But we know that cryptos are the future. We know everything is going to be tokenized. But the fact is that once they start shrinking this liquidity, we're going to start seeing those 1% of cryptos make it through the storm. Now, we had Bitcoin, I think, drop to about 16.4, 16.5. And, of course, back over that 18,000. Now, car, as far as with uh, market cap, basically, we gained like $45 billion in three days. That's crazy. 
So guys, we definitely got a good pump while the stock market was closed. So just like I stated, guys, make sure you're watching out for that dip. But those indicators are going to let us know which way the market goes. Now let's get over into some actual crypto news, guys. We have the Guggenheim Fund files to be able to invest almost $500 million into Bitcoin through GBTC. Now, guys, it seems like every two weeks we're getting someone new, some big corporation stating that they're going to be investing in Bitcoin. And guys, we know the reason why, because we know tokenization is real. It's definitely right around the corner. We know these legacy stocks are going to be tokenized and be on blockchain. So guys, it's definitely coming. Now, also getting over into actual DeFi. Now, basically, we have DeFi promises to change the way we interact with money. And guys, right now, we have 0% interest or negative interest rates across the globe. But when you get over into DeFi yield farming, basically, you can actually gain interest. Now, you're talking about a market that's nowhere near, you're talking about trillions and trillions of assets out there where you can't even get any interest. But if you come over to cryptos, blockchain, basically you actually can gain interest. And the fact is, is that basically when you're looking at algorithms, all this AI, it's like I said, it takes humanity out the picture. It takes the overhead out. So the new world order can sell giving interest because basically what you're doing is that you're contributing to liquidity. And uh, that's, it's, like I said, it's an awesome idea and it's definitely going to change the way we bank. But also, guys, we have Yearn merges with Cover and that's the fourth deal this week. But just like I stated, guys, it's definitely going to be 2021, 2022. It's going to be definitely a change because everybody has a smartphone. So now everybody can contribute to liquidity and have no idea on what they're doing. So basically, I'm just holding my cryptos in a particular pool, making interest, and I have no clue because you have people doing it right now. They have no clue what they're doing, but they're actually gaining money off of their actual cryptos. So just like I said, guys, we're definitely in an interesting time. Now, getting over to Venezuela, guys, and Venezuela, basically, you can say is more like the test project country, even though we see... China with the digital yuan testing it out, but actually Venezuela is probably the main country that actually is testing out everything. So basically we have Venezuela. Now all the Peace Hut locations are accepting Bitcoin and cryptos. So definitely guys, we see, of course, the United States running this uh, USDC into Venezuela to get around uh, the Maduro uh, administration. So Definitely see a whole lot going on in Venezuela. It's like the, you know, the testing grounds for cryptos. And then lastly, guys, we have Janet Yellen. How is she going to accept Bitcoin and, of course, blockchain? Guys, we know Janet Yellen has nothing to do with it anyway. She's just a puppet in the system. But, of course, she has spoken great about blockchain. Majority of all of them, the billionaires, all of them talk about, you know, talk great about blockchain. But they, of course, a lot of them were stating that they don't like Bitcoin. But later on, we found out what they were invested in Bitcoin. So, guys, we definitely understand that they never, ever are going to tell us the truth. We have to do what? That's right. Follow the money. But, guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. The links are at the bottom. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, don't forget about the links. Also, guys, the stocks, don't forget about the stock channel, the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. Uh, you have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. Also, where everybody's sitting at home, don't forget about the at-home stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks. And then also, while everybody's sitting at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day.